Welcome to the For All Seasons Sports Show. I'm Dominion Post sports writer Todd Murray. I'm filling in for sports editor Drew Rubenstein this week. And as always, we're joined by publisher Dave Racy. Dave, obviously the, the hot topic around town right now, the, the WVU football team. They just uh, clinched their first losing season since 2001, not going bowling. The, the natives are not real happy right now. No, I know. It's uh, a disappointment, I'm sure, to everybody involved. And, uh, you know, I say it's, uh, I guess it'll give them more time to recruit this year. They won't have to worry about New York in the bowl game. I guess we want to get a silver lining out of something. Lots of questions about Dana Holgerson right now. Some people thinking that in his third year the program should be further along than it is right now. They're, they're, they're disappointed about the way WVU has come into this Big 12. Do, do fans just need to be patient with him? What needs to happen? Well, I don't know if we have much choice with the contract he has. There's a big buyout of that thing, and I really don't think West Virginia should afford it. But when you hire a coach who's never been a head coach before, I think you have to uh, you know, anticipate growing pains. Plus, I think you know the when they sort of made the switch in the middle of the season with Coach Stewart and his staff, I'm sure that the recruiting efforts weren't as strong as they would have been if they had been coming back for another year. And even on Coach Holgerson's staff, his assistance, there's been a lot of changeover. So I don't know if they've been able to establish good recruiting grounds. And also, you know, we're sort of geographically at a disadvantage in the respect that, you know, if we recruit local players that are playing in Texas, do we recruit Texas players? Will Miami players want to play in the Big 12? That might be some uh, things they have to, you know, work out too. So I think that, you know, the contract as being as it is, we might as well just stick it out. And then at the end of the three more years, you know, one, we wouldn't have the big buyout, or two, you know, things may be a lot better. Right. Dana's talked a lot about facilities here lately, seemingly implying that the WVUs are, are not up to, to Big 12 standards. And I personally have seen more Big 12 basketball facilities than than football, but uh, I mean, how, how do you think WVU, I mean, do they need to do major upgrades of the push car center? Or? I don't know exactly what they're talking about there. I mean, you know, when back in the day when there was old Mountaineer Field and things, you know how horrible things were. And yeah, we played good football teams, Pitt, Penn State, and things like that. I can't imagine what you would need facility-wise more. They have a large weight room, they have an indoor practice field, a regular practice field. They have a football stadium that's only used, you know, six, seven times a year. Uh, so I don't know exactly what they're asking about. And I don't think you want to get in the, uh, 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 you know, keeping up with the Joneses when you have Texas and Oklahoma State and Oklahoma. Those schools are always going to be ahead of you. So I, I think that uh, they just have to work with what they have and, you know, try to get uh, the team back going. And then we'll worry about, you know, more facilities later. Right. And getting back to the current team, I mean, you know, Coach Hogerson and his staff don't have an easy job here the rest of the year. They've got a bye week this week, the players here, then the players have to be back on campus the next week when everyone else uh, goes home for Thanksgiving break, preparing for you know, a game that uh, just trying to, to feel good in some way about ending the season. But obviously, the carrot of the bowl game is gone. Uh, this is really going to test these these coaches, isn't it, to try to get them ready to play? Obviously. Yeah, it will. And uh, you know, I, I read something about Andy Reid, the uh, old Eagles coach, down at the right. Chiefs. They're undefeated until last night. They lost, right. and uh, they were coming off a bye week uh, before they played Denver. And they said Reid was his record uh, off bye weeks was 13 and one, and he gives a lot of credit for the reason. Of the first week, he tells the players not only won't be practice, he tells them to get out of town, take a vacation. So maybe that'd be the thing to do with this football team. They should know how to play by now, and maybe they just need to refresh and uh, just give them the week off, have them come back from Thanksgiving and see their parents, and I think that'd probably be the best thing they could do for them. Yes, you know, they, they, a lot of times they talk about uh, if you win that last game, it, boy, it gives you a lot of momentum heading into the next season. I guess in this case it better, considering uh, they're opening against uh, Alabama. I yeah, know, well, sure. yeah, the seniors, oh, well, God, this will be their bowl game, you know, their last game and stuff, and yeah. Facing Alabama, that's not good. Obviously, last home game uh, coming up here. Uh, you know, if you're a fan of the Mountaineers, uh, do, do you come out to that game and try to support this team? Or I imagine a lot of people are so disgusted they may not even show up. Well, that's a tough one. You know, you don't know what the weather's going to be like. It's a Thanksgiving. I, I think we, we're probably playing this because of television. Is, is it a 
Friday afternoon, Saturday? Saturday? Saturday. I don't think that's oh, it is Saturday? Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's just a tough one. I, you know, they should probably not even try to schedule games around Thanksgiving. But, you know, if they were winning, it'd be a different story. But I think, you know, Mountaineer fans will show up. I think there'll be a, you know, not an overwhelming crowd, obviously, but there'll be enough there to bid the seniors goodbye. Sure. Dave, as always, thanks for your time. Thank you. And please continue to follow uh, WVU Sports and thedepost.com.